Are your local club meetings just boring? Let's talk about an alternative. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. One of the cool things about being on YouTube is I get to meet and talk with a lot of ham radio operators from all over the country. Unfortunately, one of the things I hear from them way too often is they aren't engaged in a local club, uh, basically because they find them boring. And I don't quite understand that because my local club is pretty active and they're always doing something outside of normal club meetings uh, in what they call Project Saturdays, where they're exploring something new. Maybe they're exploring Winlink or maybe they're doing a battery box build or whatever the, uh, the event happens to be. But I do understand that in a lot of areas, clubs are not that active. So I wanted to tell you guys about a group that I know here in East Tennessee and how you might can do something similar in your area. And the group in East Tennessee is called the Mountain Toppers. And this is an absolutely phenomenal group of guys and gals. These guys get together and just go up to the mountains to play radio. Now, they schedule these events several times a year, but in March specifically, they do what's called March Madness, where they go up to the mountains, rain or shine, every single Saturday through the month of March. And this past Saturday, I had the opportunity to tag along and experience the fun. Now, this isn't a club or organization of any type. It's just a group of guys and gals that enjoy the outdoors and ham radio. And when they set out, there usually isn't much of an agenda. They just go up and pick spots to operate from and basically kind of allow everyone to do their own thing, whatever that happens to be for the day. Now, they do request that uh, each operator posts a Winlink position report. And if that's not something you're familiar with, I've done a video on that in the past, and I'll try to remember to leave a link down in the description below. But the reason they request that is because the operators can be spread out over several miles, and it's kind of a way to check in with other members of the group. It lets people know where you're at and that you're okay for the day. They also do something at the top of the hour where they run a simplex net, uh, just basically to check up on the other groups that are out there in the mountains and make sure that everything is going okay at their station. Beyond that, it's simply about having fun. So uh, I took a trip over this past Saturday and went up with those guys and worked some JSA call. I posted my Winlink position report and played with APRS, but basically you can do anything you want to. Some of the guys that go up to those uh, mountains are really into single sideband two meter radio. So they'll take Yaggies up and put them on top of mass and see how far they can communicate. Others uh, enjoy uh, two meter FM simplex. And with that kind of elevation in our area, you can really reach out quite a ways even with a 5 watt HT. So it's a good way even uh, to get maybe technicians involved and let them see what they can do with just a simple HT when you gain a little bit of elevation and use a good antenna. But more than anything else, this group is just about having fun. It's the community that they've built around it that made me want to go over there, drive three and a half hours, mind you, go over there and hang out with them on a Saturday and just see what this is all about. After meeting up at a local Hardee's, we headed out to the mountains. It takes about an hour to drive up from the local meetup place. Uh, but they just gather there on a Saturday morning and then head into the mountains. Last Saturday, it was a little cool. Once we reached the top, it was roughly 21 degrees Fahrenheit. And a uh, rainstorm had moved through the night before and everything at the upper elevations was coated with ice. 
Once we got to the top, everyone started setting up their gear. I set up the 705 and the Evolve laptop and just piddled around for a little bit. But a lot of what happens, uh, especially for me, is I like to interact with the other hams. If there's something that I can learn from them, I like to pick up on tips and tricks of things that they're doing when they're portable operating that I might can use in my setup. And I love to share tips and tricks during the day. So it is just a fantastic way to learn from each other. For instance, uh, one of those guys had a Yezu FTM 300 in their vehicle and they weren't quite sure how to read their APRS messages that they had received. Being familiar with Yezu's newer menu systems, uh, because I own the uh, Yezu FTM 400 and the FT5, I was able to sit down at that radio and kind of poke at the menu system for just a little bit and help them find those APRS messages that they had seen come in but just didn't have an opportunity to read while we were driving up and those uh, messages went rolling by. But it's as much about community as it is about radio. Again, this isn't a club. This isn't an organization. It's just a group of guys and gals that love the outdoors and radio. So if you find yourself in an area with a club that's not super active, maybe you just call a friend or a couple of friends and see if they want to go out, set up a radio, an antenna, and a battery, and just have a little bit of fun on a Saturday. Uh, these guys have built a large enough following that I was willing to drive three and a half hours to go and hang out with them on a Saturday. Now, they've been at it for a couple of years, so it wasn't as large of a crowd uh, in the beginning as it is now. And in fact, this past Saturday was actually kind of a small group. There was only five of them that went out. I think they said on the previous Saturday they had 12 or 14 operators spread out across uh, these mountains playing radio on a given day. But if you just stay after it, you can get a group together that enjoys doing what you love just as much as you do. I want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to the group of Mountain Toppers for inviting me over last Saturday and making me feel right at home in your little group. You guys are a huge encouragement. And if anyone else is in the Knoxville, Chattanooga type area, uh, definitely reach out to these guys. I'm willing to bet that Kenny will leave his email down in the comments below if any of you are interested in getting out and having a little fun. So I hope you found some encouragement in today's video. And I hope you can get a little group together like this. They are a huge inspiration for the rest of us. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.